I'm back, Aries. This your girl, Heavy Scent. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, Aries, this is going to be your love reading for the month of August 2019. Y'all remember this read is general and it's not going to resonate with everybody. All right, let me tap right in. Now, Aries, fire as love and relationships for the month of August. I feel like you're going to be at peace. You're going to have a peace of mind. You're going to be able to sleep at night, okay? It's like you land things to rest. I feel like you could be dealing with a person that maybe is not, it's not out in the open. It's more like a secret relationship. It's like, okay, you happy in secrecy like you know what i'm saying like you're not putting it all out there like oh i'm happy i found the one it's more like you low key okay dealing with it maybe a particular person it's like you're not gonna tell the whole fucking world about how this person makes you feel okay i feel like it's going to be some challenges with that. I feel like somebody is going to challenge your happiness. Okay. But you're going to be ready for whatever. You're going to be ready to defend this relationship. Okay. Because it could be some haters around. It's like, oh, motherfuckers seeing you happy and smiling and laughing and shit. It's like, okay, what the fuck is so funny? Or what the fuck is you... What, what What's going on? Okay, like, just trying to fuck up your mood, fuck up your day. But I feel like you could be dealing with a particular person who... It's like... It's a secret bond. A secret bond. Let me tap right in. Now... It's going to be some type of manipulation, some type of conflict, some type of trauma dealing with an offer a person where it just didn't make it or it was bullshit from the start okay it was built up on bullshit all right it was like a motherfucker had their hand out more than anything okay i feel like you in some type of third party situation okay where you're getting your needs met, okay? You're getting fulfilled. I feel like this is your everything, whatever you desire, whatever you wanted. I feel like you're getting it from a, another person, okay? But it's like you could be still linked up to another person where it's just drama, conflict, mind games, just bullshit. Because the situation you in dealing with that, it's like, okay... I don't have love for you no more. Like, I don't care about this shit no more. It's like, it's no love here. It's no emotions. It's no feelings. It's like, everything is going left. Nothing is going right. Like, and I feel like that is out in the open. Like, far as you not giving a fuck about a motherfucker. Like, I feel like everybody should know that shit by now. Because you may was in denial about it at first. And it was some type of foundation. Like, you may have, you may have got like, you may have years dealing with this person. Okay, years. But it just didn't make it past a certain amount of years. You, so, you see what I'm saying? Like, it just wasn't, even though you were dealing with this person forever, it was just like, is this, was this really wasted time? It's like. Pretty much you were single in this relationship. Put it like that. Because we're sitting on this foundation, okay? You were dealing with a particular person who may have, who may was book smart or very intelligent, especially know how to, had the gift of gab, okay? And they put a lot of time and they put a lot of effort in. But I feel like you more going towards somebody who, it's like somebody could be coming towards you. It's like they taking their time, they cautious. It's like they know how to be in a serious commitment. They know how to be loyal. It's like that. And I feel like that's who you want to be bothered with. That person. 
Because what else is on this foundation is definitely an ending to a lot of deception, a lot of manipulation, a lot of lying to self, a lot of backstabbing, just a lot of bullshit. And I feel like through that death, you know your self-worth right now. I feel like you... Somebody who you dealing with could be just everything to you. They bring you life. It's just a, a feeling of this is where I need to be at right now in my life at this point. It's like that feeling. Because this is all coming from, it's like, okay, somebody could be playing a victim. Okay. Trying to offer some shit and you turning them down. It's like you blocking whoever this is. Like they cannot get through. Not with a feeling, not with an apology. It's like, I don't want to hear none of that shit. Okay? Somebody is getting blocked. That's where this is coming from. And I feel like, once again, you standing up, okay, for yourself, far as your happiness, um, because somebody is finna challenge you. I know it. they is finna challenge you on this happiness. Like, they is finna try to ruin your happiness. Do not let nobody... Ruin your fucking happiness. Fuck all of that shit. You see what I'm saying? Stand your ground. Because you looking at the situation where it's like, okay, no love and things is not going right. It's like you looking at it like, okay, I have the power to remove this shit about my motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? That's how you looking at it. Like, I have the power to drop this burden. Okay? Drop this bullshit. Like, you have the power that's how you looking at it. I feel like somebody is lost, okay, around this whole situation. Um they could be like this is a this is a lost about, okay, somebody don't want to be in a commitment no more. Like somebody is not on that loyal shit. Like somebody somebody is confused about a particular person maybe who they once they they used to be. And they may have switched up where, okay, this person used to be faithful. This person used to, like, take care of business. This person used to be in that routine. This person, you, it's like, nah, somebody switched up on a motherfucker and it left they ass confused, okay? Because somebody is stressed out dealing with this shit. But this is all leading to, okay, it don't phase them far as a person clinging on to them like two people who is not compatible who broke up who is just nothing there it's like you gonna be in the energy of okay I'm still gonna be myself I'm not gonna let this shit fuck with me I'm gonna like I'm not finna get out of control with this shit. Like, I'm not finna give my power away to this shit. Like, because somebody, this is gonna be around manipulation where you two mo may have broke up and then it's like, now, oh, I don't wanna be alone. I can't do this by myself. Like, but it's no love there. It's no love there. It's not getting off the ground. It's rejection. It's no fucking attraction it's no sex it's nothing that can spark a goddamn match around it it's nothing but you're gonna have a particular person clinging on to you trying to get back with you they a total fucking mess whoever this person is a total fucking mess okay all these mind games and manipulation but through the all this bullshit you still gonna maintain control this person is not going to be able to heal, okay? They not healing. I feel like this is going to irritate your soul. This is going to piss you off, okay? Don't lose control when it get like towards the middle of August. Like still maintain that control cuz this is really going to piss you off. Or the person you're dealing with is just mad and angry. But whatever this is, it's like you already know that this is not healthy for you. It's nothing like this person may have just used and abused you. It's like, okay, this is just toxicity. 
Like, I don't need this negativity in my life type shit. And it's time to move around. This person need to move around. But just know this person is finna test your happiness. Like, they finna try to fuck that shit up. So, stand your ground. Defend your happiness. Like, don't let nobody come up and fuck up what you got going on. Where it's, like, just just don't let nobody come fuck up, fuck up what you got going on with maybe a particular person who everybody don't know about. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, that's really all I got. Thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense. If you like the tip heaven, you already know. I truly appreciate y'all. Send from heaven, 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.